Hello, fifth grade. Let's talk about our writing target for this week. We are going to be working on narrative story elements. So as we write a narrative, we can establish a narrator, characters, and organize an event sequence. So what is a narrative? What are those narrative elements? Sarah Plain and Tall, Caleb's story, both books that we've read by uh, Patricia McLaughlin, are both examples of narratives. Narrative elements are kind of like the ingredients that make up the story. So in your elements of fiction, you have setting, theme, characters, conflict, plot, point of view. Each of these things makes up a story. Without a setting, we wouldn't have a place that the story occurs. Without characters, we wouldn't have anyone taking action. So these are all very important pieces to consider when we're writing a narrative. We have to include all of these elements. Good writers plan ahead. They do pre-writing. They plan what is this story going to look like before you've even started writing full sentences or paragraphs. Pre-writing can be in note form. Very short and succinct is fine. Most importantly, just get your thoughts down. Sometimes talking out loud helps you to know what to include. So if you were brainstorming what could happen in this story, talk to somebody at home or look in the mirror and tell your reflection in the mirror. I think I could have this type of character and maybe this is the action that they take. Brainstorm those elements of fiction, setting, character, plot, etc., and think what happens in the beginning, middle, and end of this story. Planning that out will make it all the easier when you go to actually start creating full paragraphs and sentences because you have your notes and your initial thoughts ready to go. So we'll start with pre-writing this week and be moving along in our writing process soon. Thanks, fifth grade.